bằng lê hằng The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 44, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 10th of June, 1976, in Los Angeles, California. Translation. O inhabitants of Vaikuntha, you are sinless, but those within this material world are all karmis, whether acting piously or impiously. Both kinds of action are possible for them because they are contaminated by the three modes of nature and must act accordingly. One who has accepted a material body cannot be inactive, and sinful action is inevitable for one acting under the modes of material nature. Therefore, All the living entities within this material world are punishable. Sambhavan zihi vajrani viparitani chanada karinam gunasambhasi jehova nahi akarmakri This material world is karma of krit. You have to do something. Krishna has explained that without acting you cannot even maintain your body and soul together. Sarira Jatrapiti na prasiddhe akaramana. If you become idle, then you cannot even maintain your body. That is the difference between civilized man an uncivilized man or developed country. Developed country and undeveloped country. That's why like America. Uh, this land was inhabited by the great Indians. They could not do anything. But the Europeans, when they migrated, they made it so beautiful country. So, uh, karma-krit, one has to work. Uh, this material world is so bad. Tritya, karma-saṅga, anya, sakti rishyate in the Vishnu Pura. Parasa sakti, vividhai vasriyate. God's energy and varieties. All those Varieties are grouped into three divisions. Out of that, uh, three divisions mean tatastha sakti, anjananga sakti, chit sakti, tatastha sakti, and this external uh, or this um, karma sakti, tritya sakti, Karma Sangha Anya, it is mentioned that. The spiritual world is the manifestation of Chit Sakti. And this material world is creation of uh, material energy or Karma Sangha, where everyone has to work. Without work, it is said, Nahi suptasya singhasya pravishanti mukhe mriga. That's a very nice example. In the forest, the lion is supposed to be the mightiest animal, and he is sometimes called the king of the animals, Pasuraj. So, in one place it is said, that even the lion, who is the king of the forest, if he sleeps and he thinks that uh, animals will come and enter in his mouth, that is not possible. He has to also find out how to eat. Nahi suptasya singhasa 
प्रविशंति मुखे मृगा द लायन इज सो पावरफुल दैट ही कैनॉट ऑल्सो डिटेक्ट तो देर जाना दैट स्टोरी बुद्धिजस्य बलम तस्य निर्बुद्धे सुकुतो बलम पश्य सिंह मदन मत शशोकी न निपात देर इज अ स्टोरी दैट द लायन वॉज किल बाय ए रैविट शशकी न निपात वाई न बुद्धिजस्य बलम तस् One who has got intelligence, he has got power. The lion is very mighty, ferocious animal, and a sasa, an ordinary rabbit, he killed the lion. How? Yeah, uh, the lion was disturbing all animals, so all the animals held a meeting and called the lion, "Sir, you do not try to." Kill us all, hunting after everyone. We shall go voluntarily every day, one of us. So you don't create disturbance. Let us become peaceful. So Lion agreed. All right, if you voluntarily come, I will sleep, and if you enter in my mouth. So this was the agreement. So there was. At the turn of one rabbit, so he planned something. So he went to the lion a little late. The lion was very angry that why you have come late? I am hungry and you did not come. So, so the rabbit said. Sir, there was a danger in the way. What is that? There is another lion, uh, and he wanted to kill me and eat. But I protested. No, sir, you cannot kill me. <laughs> I am destined to be killed by such and such lion. So you cannot do it. So you are very much pleased. Where is that lion? Yeah, please, please come and show you. Huh? So he took him on near uh, on well. So he, the rabbit said, he is living within this. <laughs> the lion immediately came and made a howl. So there was vibration, still higher sound. And he saw his photo, uh, yes, shadow. So he, he thought, it, yes, then he ran immediately jumped over. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> so how the lion was killed by the rabbit? Now buddhi just a balamutas. One who has got intelligence, he has got power. The fool is. Uh, so everywhere they will find. So how one is intelligent, how one is dull, how one is bhavidya, that is due to these three gunas, satagun, rajagun, tam. If one is intelligent, that is one of the qualification of satagun. Jnanam vijnanam asikam, the brahminical qualification. सत्ता सम दम तिथिख्या आजमं ज्ञान विज्ञान आस्तिक ब्रह्म कर्म स्वभाव इन द सोसाइटी ह्यूमन सोसाइटी देर मस्ट बी ए क्लास ऑफ ब्राह्मीन इंटेलिजेंट क्लास सो आवर कृष्ण कॉन्शियसनेस मूवमेंट इज ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट ए सेक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी रियल ब्राह्मण इंटेलिजेंट And the intelligence means veda. Veda means knowledge. Knowledge. One who has got sufficient knowledge, he is intelligence, not the fool, rascal. So, therefore, the there is vedas, and there are vedant, vedant, ved vedant. 
source of knowledge. So Vedas means knowledge, and Veda Anta Anta means the last word. That Anta knowledge, or the last word of knowledge, is Simad Bhagavata. Vidya Bhagavata Madhi, they say. Knowledge, uh, expansion of knowledge, the last word is Simadha Bhagavata. So it is the explanation of Vedanta. Bhasang Brahma Sutra Ra. Vedanta, another name is Brahma Sutra. In India, there are uh, Mahavadi sannyasis, they advertise themselves as the Vedantist, and one who knows Vedanta. But actually they do not know Vedanta. Real Vedanta is Simad Bhagavatam because this is commentary, Bhasa Ayam Brahma Sutrana. Brahma Sutra is Vedanta. So Vedanta, what is that Vedanta? That is explained by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. Vedaista sarvai ahameva vedam. Veda means to understand me. That is Veda. If one does not understand Krishna, his so-called Vedic knowledge and Vedanta knowledge is useless. Sarmaeva hi kevalam. Simply lever. Dharma sanu stitapam sang, vishakshina kathasu jat, not padae drakling jadi, samaye vahiki valam. Everyone is engaged in executing a particular type of faith or religious system, ritualistic. That's our life. Dharma sanu stita. You are Hindu, you are doing your Hindu ritualistic ceremony or religious rules and regulations, or a Christian is doing nicely, or a Mahavadana is doing, that's all right. But we are interested, those who are followers of real Vedan, to see the result. Phalena prichyat. Phalena means by the result. So what is the result? The result is by executing one's particular type of religious system, he must develop Krishna consciousness or God consciousness. That is the test. If you are unaware of what is God, what do you mean by God, and you are very, very religious, that is useless. One must know God. So those who are in the lowest grade of human life, they cannot understand. Namāga duskitana mūrha prapadyante narādhamā. Narādhamā, nara means human being, and adhamā means the lowest. So one who is in the lowest grade of human society, they are called the sapacha. Sapacha. Sapacha means those who are dog-eaters. In this way there is description, there are others also. So here the same thing is. Sabham sambhavanti bhadrani viparitani chanaka karinam gunasangas. This gunasangha. Why one is in the lowest grade and why there are three grades generally? And if you mix it, it becomes eighty-one. Three into three equal to nine. Nine into nine, eighty-one. Therefore we have got so many species of life, eight million four hundred thousand. So how it is possible? Now guna-saṅgāsthi, in the Bhagavad-gītā city, kāraṇaṁ guna-saṅgāsya satasat janma-jivanishu. Why there are different varieties of life? So many, eight million four hundred thousand. What is the reason? Karanam. Karanam means reason. 
the call Guna Sangha. Guna Sangha. Now here is temple and a few years after this temple there may be a brother, there may be a liquor house. So somebody is coming here and somebody is going there. So what is the reason? Karanangguna Sangha. See, one is attached to Satagun, one is attached to Rajagun, one is attached. But everyone is working, and that working must be under the influence of one of these three qualities. Satagun, Rajagun, Tamagun. So if one associates with this Satagun, then he is promoted gradually to the higher planetary system. And Uddhanga Chanti Sattasva. There everything is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Those who are developing the good qualities of this material material world, three qualities. So Uddhanga Chanti Sattasva, the upper planetary system, heavenly planetary system. Therefore we say that you cannot go to the moon planet so from this heart. Because the moon planet will go. Uddhanga chanti sattva Unless one is in the mode of goodness, they cannot enter there. That is not possible. And by force if you say, yes, we have gone, we are going, you may say, but we are followers of the śāstra. Śāstra chakkhusya, we see through the śāstra. We understand that these men and they are not even in Rajagun or maybe in Rajasthamagun, but where is Satagun? Satagun. So through this Hastra we can understand the, who is who through Shastra. Therefore in my poetry on the strength of Shastra, uh, I said uh, that Rajasthama gune era shavai acharna. Vasudeva katha ruchi nahe se prasanna. Most of the population here is covered by the material modes of ignorance and passion. Absorbed in material life, they think themselves very happy and satisfied. Therefore, they have no test for the transcendental message of Vasudev, so I do not know how they will be able to understand it. Actually, that is a fact. Everyone, I mean, so many samis and yogis come in this country, so they advertise in India that they went to America for preaching Vedanta, but being influenced, what Vedanta they learn when they return to India, they have learned how to entice women and how to eat meat. This is their Vedanta. Because uh, Karanangguna Sanghas, if you are not strong enough, then association will. Hmm induce her influence. If you are not a Vaishnava, then if you go in a brothel or a liquor house, then you will be influenced by the uh, drunkards and prostitute hunters. But if you are strong enough, then you will the effect, you will give your effect of association, they will be Vaishnava. That is the difference. There is a scientific story that one doctor, friend, perhaps you know, the doctor goes who came. He was, when he was student, he read in a medical magazine that one girl, uh, her name was Mary. So there was a Mary contamination. What is that? The typhoid. Yes. Wherever she used to go, there was typhoid fever. So many people suffering. But she was not suffering. So 
by analysis of the blood, it was found that this girl, the blood was full of typhoid germ, but she was so strong that she could resist. She was not suffering. But wherever she used to go, everyone was infected with typhoid. So that is the explained. Karanam guna sangas. If you are strong enough, then the lower qualities will not affect you. And if you are not strong, if you are weak yourself, then where you are going to convert, they will induce their infectious quality and you will be victimized. The karanam guna sangas. So, in the Western countries, uh, everywhere, all over the world at the present moment, Kaliju, the guna, the rajaguna and tamaguna is very prominent. The rajaguna, how it is understood that the rajaguna and tamaguna is prominent? No, the rajaguna and tamaguna, the symptom, rajasthama bhava, kamulo bhava Tata rajasthamo bhava, kama loha dayasthaj. When one is infected with tamagon and rajagon, the symptoms will be that he is very greedy and lusty. This is the symptom. If one is very greedy and lusty, then you should know that he is infected with rajagon and tamagon. And if one is not greedy and lusty, satisfied in every circumstance, and is Krishna conscious or trying to become Krishna conscious, then it is sadhu. So by the culture of this Krishna consciousness, one comes to the satagon, the immediate effect. Satagon. Just like our student, uh, little association with this Krishna consciousness movement, they immediately come to the Satakum, at least officially. Although Rajagun Tamagun is there, but it overlaps. So how it overlaps? The, what is this process? Sinnadang Satatha Krishna Punnasabanaki Jana. Riddhantasa avadrani vidhunati suhit sata. Krishna is within everyone. If we simply hear the words and the instruction of Krishna, sinnatang sakata Krishna, this is Simad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita, full of Krishna's personality, Krishna's instruction. So if we hear, this, especially in these two books, Bhagavad Gita and Simad Bhagavad, uh, Sinnatanga Sakata Krishna, then you become pious. Sinnatanga Sakata Krishna Punna Sivanaki. There is no need of separate attempt if you simply hear every morning or as many times as possible, then we become purified. Punna Savana Kirtana. One who is speaking, he is also becoming pious, and one who is hearing, he is also becoming pious. Punna Savana Kirtana. So, pious, what is the meaning of pious? Sannatang Sangata Krishna Punna Savana Kirtana. Hiddanta Stavadrani. The, everything is causing effects. Within the heart, within the heart, the civilization and not civilization means the change of heart. A man is civilized because he has changed his heart. A man is uncivilized, he has not changed. Just like you have, you know the story of what is that? Sikari? Migari, yes. The Migari was in the lowest status of Tamagon. He was killing animals, half dead, and he was enjoying. But 
when he became Krishna conscious, elevated, he was not prepared to kill even one ant. You know this story. That is the change, change of heart. The same man, same man who was killing animals in the jungle, half dead, and when Narmuni asked him, why you are killing half? Kill them, complete. They are suffering. He will be more sinful. My father taught me that this is pleasure. So this is going on. Tamagon, Rajagon. But if we simply hear this, Simadha Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam Gita, Sinnatam Sakata Krishna, Panna Savana Gita, no? How it is possible? Nasta Prayasu Avadresu Nittanga Bhagavata Sivaya. This Avadra, inauspicious, nasty things within our heart, and most uncivilized way of life, killing of animals, this will be stopped. Nasta Prayasu Avadresu Nittanga Bhagavata Sivaya by hearing the message of God, Bhagavad, bhakti uh, uttama sloke bhavati na sthiri. We gradually we become devotee. This is the process. Uh, how to transcend the material qualities? That is explained. So, that's my song. Uh, I was thinking on board the scene that rajastama gune eras havai achanna. Vāsudeva katha aduci nahe se prasanna. Nobody is interested. At the present moment, everyone is covered by the rajasthama. The base qualities, ignorance and passion, so they have no interest in Krishna consciousness. That is not possible. One has to purify himself. Tato rajasthama bhāva kāmalu bhāda when we kill the rajasthama bhava, cheta etai anabhidham, when our heart is no more contaminated by the rajasthama bhava, cheta etai anabhidham, sita satte prasivati. There are three gunas. If you make minus these two gunas, rajasthama gun, then the remaining only sata gun. So this rajasthama gun, can be counteracted simply by hearing about Krishna. Chinnatanga Sakata Krishna Panna Savana Jiva. Therefore, I know Tavajadi Tava Pipa Hoy Ahui Tuki Sakala Sambhave Hoy Tumi Se Kautu. And God is all powerful, Krishna is all powerful. He can do everything. Impossible first. So whatever is being done in our Krishna consciousness moment, I don't think that it is my influence or my. It is Krishna's. Krishna can do. He can change satagon into tamagon, tamagon into rajagon, rajagon into satagon. That he has he lacks. Just like a expert electrician, he can turn the heater into cooler, and cooler into heater. The electric energy is the same. Similarly, parasa shakti vibhuda is sriyate. He has his energy, if he like. The my point is that this Krishna consciousness moment has come to your country by the will of Krishna. So, there is favorable situation because the will of Krishna is there. That now the Westerners, especially the Americans, they should become Krishna conscious. That is his will. So you take the opportunity, cooperate with Krishna, and you will be successful. Thank you very much. <laughs>